what's up youtube we're back with another video hit that subscribe button if you're new it's all pro sports talk the home of sports talk today we're going to discuss why jalen hurts has superstar potential and why i believe he's the franchise quarterback for the philadelphia eagles the philadelphia eagles traded carson wentz in the offseason to the indianapolis coast and if he plays 75 percent or more of the snaps they're going to end up with the coast first round pick and that's what the carson wentz has done and so the philadelphia eagles have three first round picks now and a lot of people are saying will they go quarterback i do not think that they will i think they should continue to build around jalen hurts first of all their season is not even close to being over with because of jalen hurts jalen hurts has kept the team head above water and this guy is the real deal as i currently record this video they are last in the wild card spot in the nfc conference and they are going to beat up on the washington football team which i'm assuming this team right here shows a lot of grit and toughness nick sirianni is the head coach a lot of people made fun of him with the first press conference he's had but him and jalen hurts mesh well together the first half of the season jalen hurts was looking very inconsistent in the past game nick sirianni had him pass the ball a lot and for a lot of guys that are big jalen hurts fans we all know jalen hurts does not do that to the best of his ability but he is a guy that has some good legs and he's a very powerful quarterback they started the season off hot against the Atlanta Falcons. He had three passing touchdowns and 264 yards. This Philadelphia Eagles team has a lot of potential. They have a good offensive line and a dominant rushing attack. As I record this video, Miles Sanders is out with a broken bone in his hand. But before he ended up got hurt, they had a good rushing attack with him and that option read with Miles Sanders and Jalen Hurts. And Miles Sanders is a guy that's very unutilized, including last year when it was a Carson Wentz show and things just went bad. I was banging the table. You guys can go look back at the videos. I wanted Doug Peterson to get him the ball more, and that's what Nick Sirianni has done. He's given him the ball more, and not only that, Miles Sanders is also a good receiving back as well. They just have to get him the opportunities. He's one of the better backs in the entire NFL. He has zero touchdowns on the season rushing. They have to get that evolved if he comes back in the the offseason or if he comes back right now because like i said this team right now is in a prime position to make the playoffs which is crazy to think about and jalen hurst has done that 16 pass touchdowns on the season nine interceptions but also 10 rushing touchdowns 26 touchdowns in total and 740 rushing yards i don't like the narrative that a lot of people are saying well jalen hurst isn't a franchise guy he's not showing potential he only started four games last year give this man his credit let this man grow Besides Devontae Smith and Dallas Goddard, who are two excellent receiving targets, you guys know how I feel about Dallas Goddard, one of the better receiving tight ends in the league. And you also have Devontae Smith, who's a rookie, who's come in and he looks like he's that guy right now. Devontae Smith has 58 receptions, 821 yards, and five touchdowns. You look at Dallas Goddard, 50 receptions, 759 yards, and four touchdowns. They'll get it done. The only spots here and there in this team you can get, you can use an extra lineman, use an extra tackle. And the offense line has been hurt a little bit, but it's been up on the ways up. It's been good. They have the running back some place. Jordan Howard is a good guy. I like Boston Scott as a receiving target. Quez Watkins is a good number three wide receiver. Jalen Rager, it is what it is on that end. I know a lot of people say we could have had Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson would have looked phenomenal with this team. It would have made this team even better. But when you look at the play action scheme that Nick Sirianni has with Jalen Hurts, which started in week six, the offenses look better. They can run, they can run this football down a lot of teams' throat, and they use that to their advantage. Jalen Hurts in the option situation with Miles Sanders. Then they have the read options. Then they have the RPO system with Devontae Smith on the bubble screen to run the slant. It was one beautiful play a couple weeks ago that I could refer to, and that the Philadelphia Eagles ran the RPO perfectly. It was a perfectly executed play. They affected to Miles Sanders. It was against New Orleans Saints. They affected against Miles Sanders. And Jalen Hurst pulls the ball back. Devontae Smith runs a post, easy yard completion. Little plays like that and little things like that are making Jalen Hurst better. You look at him last year, he wasn't doing that. You have to let these men grow. This is his first year starting as a quarterback. I think they should stick with Jalen Hurst. And a lot of people may say, is Jalen Hurst Bodger, is Jalen Hurst fanboy? You're dang right I am. I love the man on and off the field. He gets his team going they rally around him and they're going to always fight even in games that are ugly when they're getting beat up bad they got beat up on by the dallas cowboys but guess what they continue to fight and they continue to try to show some fight in that game mostly because of jalen hurts he's not going to put his head down he's going to keep his head up and he's gotten better week in and week out i love the way that he's managing the game yes he has some turnovers here and there 
but that's a part of him being a quarterback. I'm listing him as a rookie quarterback this season. Yes, he has some NFL experience, but let's be honest here. A lot of quarterbacks get more years than him. I know a quarterback right now with the Carolina Panthers named Sam Darnold. They've given him chance after chance, and the people continue to believe that he's the guy. I know that Jalen Hurst can be the guy. I've seen him leave Alabama, go to Oklahoma. The odds are always against Jalen Hurts, and he continues to rise above, above those odds. And he fits so well with the Philadelphia Eagles fan base. And that's a fact. Like I said, this is one of the better young quarterbacks in the entire NFL. Just look at the way he's playing the game. 26 total touchdowns, 9 interceptions. You can't wish for anything more than that. His best game of the season against the Denver Broncos. He had 30, it was 30 to 13. He played an amazing game in that game. And like I said, man, I love everything about Jalen Hurts. He's going to continue to play the game the best way that he can. He's going to keep it that way. He had two touchdowns against the Denver Broncos that game and one interception. They had to continue to build around him, get more weapons around him, get a good receiving, get a good receiving threat at the wide receiver position as a veteran. Instead of just having Jalen Rager there, Jalen Rager is a good special teamer. I'm going to be honest with you. I just don't see it. He drops a lot of passes. He reminds me of a mini Nelson Aguilar. But Devontae Smith is the guy. So is Dallas Goddard. But I still think that you can use Jalen Rager in jet sweep situations. He has a lot of speed. Use him on punt and kick returns. And also this as well. They can just continue to just build up that defense. Get some new linebackers in there. You already have big play slay on that defense. And get some things right. I think this Eagles team can be a fun NFC team for years to come. But you guys let me know in the comment section. Do you believe that Jalen Hurst is the right quarterback for this team moving forward? I think he's a franchise quarterback that they always needed since Carson Wentz has left from last season. And if you don't agree with me, let me know why in the comment section. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Most importantly, I want each and every last one of you guys to stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Peace.